We're here today in Esperance to uh, inform the community about the key benefits of the new project coming up and how we will be able to engage the community and just to inform everyone about the activities and, and why we are building a new hybrid renewable power station. Almost half of the power generated uh, in Esperance will be from renewable resources and that's a benefit for everyone. It's about a 50% reduction in carbon emissions and that equates to about 6,500 vehicles which is about the same amount of registered vehicles in uh, Esperance. It'll be the largest solar farm on the Horizon Power Network. The benefit for the community is uh, a cleaner, greener energy solution. The current power station has an efficiency of 20%, uh, whereas this engine has a 45% efficiency. The key benefit for contract power is being, being able to demonstrate to uh, the rest of Western Australia that uh, a regional town can be the biggest supplier of renewable energy in the, uh, in the state. The key benefits for LNG for the Esperance Town Power Project is the way that LNG works really well with high penetration renewables. We provide a lot of flexibility so that when renewables are going, you can turn the gas right down and you know, offer the power station that real flexibility to bring those cost savings and those lower emissions for the project. LNG is also you know, low emissions. It's the same as natural gas. It's, it's much cleaner than burning diesel or any other sort of form of power. And I guess also there's the construction project and the ongoing operation. You know, we'll be using local contractors to help construct the facility on site. That'll be happening in the first half of 2021. And you know, this is a long-term contract, so we're here for a long time and you know, we want to be part of the community. I think there's a lot of benefits in this. The first one that I'd say it's got a significant component of renewables in it. The second one is that it's a, a better, more flexible power station. And I think for the fast changes that happen in Esperance from the far corners of the uh, rural grid into the Port Authority, I think that it, it adds a lot of value in regards to how it's being managed. It's what Esperance people look for. And I think it'll be a great benefit in the term. We hope to deliver more over time and build this to a lot higher percentage than what it will be starting up. We're really excited about the opportunity. We've had some underutilised land in the Shark Lake region, so it's really great that we were able to make use of that, especially for a, a renewable hub. We believe the benefits that uh, we'll get out of this project starting in March 2022, we'll be able to roll out to our port users, so that's a tremendous benefit for us. It's tremendous that this project's been obviously underway for, for a number of years, and it's now coming to fruition, and just great involvement from Horizon and SBA.